Saudi Bank. Sorry, 1940. I had a beautiful dinner on Saturday night where I had some flowers delivered to compliment the table. But before I show you the video, I want to apologize in advance for the quality of the video because we weren't planning on doing this. And I was so shocked at what I saw. I felt like we needed to make a video just to show the industry why I preach some of the things that I've preached through the years. Having a store for 30 years, I was very big on mechanics and making sure my flowers were handled properly before the customer gets them. And the number one um, point people would make to me would be, we love your shop because your flowers last the longest. I always took that for granted until I've left the industry for a little bit and saw just what people are doing. So let me show you the arrangement that we received. It's a compact arrangement of roses. Now what I asked for was shades of pink. There could have been Queen Anne's lace placed in here, even baby's breath, I wouldn't have minded. Maybe a little ivy around the container, but never did I ask for a ceramic a container. Now this is a nice ceramic cube, and the reason I'm placing this with the paper, with the paper towel under it is because it's on a piano for a reason. I once had a customer receive flowers from us and they watered it and they claimed that the container was leaking and it ruined a $10,000 piece of furniture. You could be liable and you could get sued if your flowers are not created where they can water, water it. Like if this requires water every day and there isn't anywhere for the water to go, then in that, you're, you could be at fault. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but it could happen. Now, take a look at what happened here. And I showed you this on the other video, but I want you to see a close up. Here's my concern right here. See that? There's, I can't even get my finger in there. Look, it's oasis all the way to the very tip. It's all oasis. For some reason, people feel the need to stuff every piece of, does this happen to your store? Or they just put oasis upon oasis, there's layers of it, and they push it in there. How is the water supposed to be absorbed and maintained for the flowers to drink from it? Now, if this was delivered and I didn't put anything underneath it and watered it, water could drip onto this and ruin the top of my piano, and I might just be looking for a way to get reimbursement for it. You never know, keep that in mind. But more importantly, if they were to just use uh, two thirds of this opening for the oasis and then fill it in and have room so water can be put on here in through this and held so it can continue to absorb the water. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to the video now and I hope you find it informative and no, I'm not going to give you the name of the shop. It wasn't my old shop. Um, I'm not doing this to harm anybody or to bring or point fingers I'm doing this to show you another way to maybe rethink the way your flowers are being put together. At my store, there were no colored containers. If there was fresh water to be used in an arrangement, I always had glass. See through it, and then you can see if the water level goes down. And if you don't see it, somebody else might walk through your house or your office and say, hey, the flowers might need some more water because it's really low. And that's what you're missing with the colored container. And now with containers so hard to come by, why not just get glass containers, less expense on the container, more value in the flowers. So check out the video and tell me what you think. Thanks. When you get a bouquet like this, most people say that's so pretty. Ooh, uh, how nice it is. And it is. It's Little pineapples in there. Right. And all the flowers are placed nicely and they're in place. But how do they get like this? Many shops, they can use a grid. They take like chicken wire, make a ball, or they can put oasis in there. In this case, there is oasis in here. Can you give a video of that? See that green? I get, I get your fingers out of the way. And oh, yes. You go around yep, the base for the container. It's sized. completely from one end to the other. Okay. The problem with that is when you go to water this, all the water is going to drip over the side. So, one of the rules that I had in making these kind of bouquets were you would take a piece of and you would cut it two thirds of the opening and place it and then put your flowers in there to hold the rest of it and then when the water was placed in the middle it would go right into the container instead of onto the tabletop 
but this is a reflection of usually an inexperienced designer because they're not thinking about how it's going to take water because if you don't water this, this will be dead in two days and then if you try to water it, the water is going to drip onto the table and become more of a problem and take away from the enjoyment of the flowers.